Welcome to a presentation on Categories Administrator for Outlook. Categories Administrator is the ultimate tool to manage contact and master categories in Outlook. There's nothing out there that does this job as well. It's compatible with Outlook 2003, 2007, and 2010. And it's also compatible with Outlook Business Contact Manager. We've tested it with 2007 and 2010. So let's have a look on how Categories Administrator works. First, you select an Outlook folder. Just click here, find the Outlook folder that you want. Uh, let's, we like this one here, Group Sync Folder. So we click OK. And what it does, it analyzes the folder and then it finds individual categories, which are categories that only exist on the contact, while it finds the master categories. So if you click on any category on the left hand side, on the right hand side it will list you which, which contact in Outlook have that category. So you can click on the individual contacts or in the master categories. So it's a very visual way of looking at the categories listing. So the master categories are the categories that are all in bold, while the individual categories are not bolded. That means that they only exist on the particular contact. With Categories Admin, you can uh, just select an individual uh, category that is on uh, just the contacts, and then you can promote it to, to a master category. Now the, here, Employees now becomes a master categories for the folder. So you can also, in the same way, you can demote the master category from, uh, from being a master category so just a contact uh, category. And by doing that, it's a very easy way of actually getting all the categories uh, promoted or demoted, whichever way you want it. Also, under the same token, you can rename a category. For example, here we have database users. You can just rename this category to database uh, multi-users. Multi -users. And that will rename also the category and you can see right here, now it's uh, the database multi-users uh, has been renamed, therefore making it really easy. At the same time, you can also remove a category. It just gives a little prompt, just remove the category, and now that category no longer exists. So now we get into the exciting part about this product, which is uh, how to create a category. So if you click on Create Category, you get a screen that allows you to add filters. Um, for example, these are Outlook fields. Let's just add a, a first name greater than A. And then uh, same, first name uh, if it's less than uh, M. You add this filter, so now you have a series of filters and you can do AND and ORs. And these filters can also be saved as a filter to the hard drive for reuse. So you, if you have a set of filtering mechanisms, you can just save it straight to the hard drive and then you can just retrieve it and then just modify it and you can have multiple filters as well. So click on preview, it will show you how many contacts, how many contacts we have here. So by click on the create new category, just create new categories. Let's just call it 111. That's a series of ones and you click create a new category say OK. So now it goes and it creates a new category. So if you click, if you see here, now this is our new category that are now exists in Outlook uh, that did not exist before. So let's just go back to the build category from filter. And what we have is 193 contacts that are between A and M, where the first name is between A and M. So imagine we have a very nice little feature here that uh, you can select a, a range of contacts. If you come in here and you don't want all those contacts to be part of the category, we can delete those contacts from our selection. They don't delete from Outlook, but they are deleted from the selection. And now we have 23 contacts. And from that, we can actually create a category. So the category feeds off the contact list that we have on the build category from filter. 
So categories admin, just click on here and now we have 23 contacts that are part of the new category that we just created. So now back to categories admin. We have a very interesting selection of tools, a very powerful set of tools. Click on the tools and click on export. You can export the categories list uh, to a CSV file, a comma delimited file, or you can export the selected contacts list, which is the contacts that belong to the categories. And this, in this option here is 23 ca uh, contacts. You can select it and export, and all the contacts with all the data, all the standard fields are exported over from, from Outlook. So now, under the same token, if you click on Import, that will import a set of categories. In this case, we have a set of categories here, and we'll import them uh, and make them part of the master categories. Now we have all these imported categories that imports to our category list. So you can send a list of categories to different people and they can import it straight into the categories in Outlook. So now also building on top of the tools, we have a set of master categories tools. This one replace master category with category list will take all the subcategories, these co contact specific categories that are not part of the master list, and we will take all these subcategories and make them part of this list. So just click here, replace master categories with category list, click on that, say yes, and now all your subcategories are part of the master category list. Our next option is the removal of empty master categories. Those are master categories that really have no contacts that are attached to them, like blue category one, it's got zero contacts, or Asia Pack one, it's got zero contacts. Uh, key contacts one has no contacts in Outlook that actually are, that are part of this category. So you can go into the tools and then just have it, the tools uh, go through it and clear and the, remove the empty category. So just click that, and now you go through all the categories. Now the only categories that exist as part of the master categories are categories that are populated with contacts. So back to our tools, we also have remove duplicate master categories. We've seen in some installations that uh, faulty software creates duplicate master categories. Use this just to remove any master categories that you have that are duplicate. And finally, for the master categories, we've got the clear master categories. What that does, it deletes all the master categories and it creates the five default color c categories that are, that are actually created by Outlook. Click on that, say yes. So now the only categories that exist uh, as part are the categories on the contacts and the color categories that are the default in Outlook, like blue category, green category, and all that. So you can look at that. Now you've removed all the master categories and then you can say, okay, well, I want to make these now my master categories. So click here, master, uh, master categories, just replace master categories with category list and all these categories go, are now part of the master category list again. And the next option in tools is our contacts. And what we have here is copy selected category contacts to an Outlook folder. So what we see, we have 10 contacts that are coffee customers, and we can click on that. There's my 10 contacts. We can copy these contacts straight into Outlook or from one folder in Outlook and just uh, deposit it into whatever folder you want in Outlook. So, so just click on the browse for folder and then just select a folder. Uh, here we can just decide, oh, we want to put it on a public folder on a test. Just click there and the public folder is on our Exchange server. Just click on Copy, and it copies these 10 contacts to the Exchange folder or to any other folder that you have. And it's a very quick way of doing it. Another tool that is very useful 
is the, the create folders from categories. What it does, it creates a tree structure of the folder of the categories. So what we see here, they are these, these groups that are subdivided by a dot. So these are subgroups of the customers, customers dot customers Asia pack, customers dot customers chocolate. And the dot is a subgroup of the customer. So it's like a tree. Uh, a tree. Uh, here we'll have employees, international employees, and there's two dots. So these are uh, basically a three deep uh, tree structure that we have. So we can actually take this and replicate it into Outlook. So let's click on Tools, create a uh, folder tree, and copy contacts. So it will copy the contacts to our destination. So click here, and we copy all the contacts. So let's just browse through the category. We click here, and let's just create a new category that we want on our personal folders. Let's call it uh, Destiny. So call it's going to be contact items. Let me clear it on the personal folders. And that's where we're going to put a, all our tree structure of, of our, our groups and categories. So let's just click on create folders. And it, and it does that. And at the same time, it's copying all these contacts over from Outlook into the subfolders in Outlook and creating a full tree structure within Outlook for easy navigation. So we should be done. It just told us that it's done. So let's just go let's just go into Outlook. So let's now look at Outlook and see where we put our data. Here is Destiny. That's our main folder. So if you click here, you'll see all all the structures of of the categories that we have. So we click on customers, these are all the customers, and then the subfolders of the customers or employees, which then have international employees, which are two subfolders, and all these are actually copied over into Outlook, uh, providing a very easy way for users to actually subgroup or subcategorize all the data within Outlook. And last but not least, if you've created a set of categories or folders and categories and you want to get rid of them, just click on the Remove All Destination Folders and Items. Here's Destiny. You can actually select any folder, so you can use this particular tool in any folder. But for us, it's Destiny, and we just want to remove all the contacts and subfolders that we created. So this is a, an easy way of getting back to where you were. So we'll just click on remove all and that will go through all the folders and remove anything that's in there which makes it easy and fast so if you can open Outlook here and we can see in Outlook and Destiny how there's nothing left in Destiny. So uh, what we're trying to do is provide an easy and efficient way for users to manipulate folders and manipulate categories and uh, take advantage of this great uh, power of Outlook. This concludes our presentation on Categories Administrator for Outlook. If you're interested, you can purchase this product at 123addons.com or at any other reseller of ours that carries the product.